Well, I think you've already taken the first step by having two children. <laughs> because, because it's much easier to do this with two kids than with one. No, then they grow up in the right environment. Three, of course, would be even better. <laughs> I take your point. <laughs> so, provide them a, a good family environment in which, to grow, in which to grow up, which means you, know, you have the brothers, sisters, cousins, and you have to learn to get along with one another. Don't spoil them. Let them find their own way in the world. I think Singaporean parents, because children are fewer now, uh, they have gone for the strategy of investing heavily in a few children. And they want to give absolutely the best quality time, quality tuition, quality enrichment, quality travel. And PSLE was last week, and people came home from overseas to take the PSLE with their children. I'm sure some of you did too. So some of it is necessary. I'm not suggesting you should ignore your kids and just let them run wild. But you have to have some detachment. And I watch the way sometimes my, my uh, foreign friends bring up their kids. And in particular, I have a very vivid memory of one Australian friend, and he produced, came here one year with his two-year-old, and his wife was pregnant again. So he, his wife and me sat, and us sat down for dinner, and the two-year-old ran all over the premises. He was completely unfazed, didn't worry about the chap falling down, bruising himself, neither did the little boy come crying back, bawling to mummy. So they grow up in a different way. They win a lot of Olympic gold medals. <laughs> so I think, I don't know how you bring up your kids, but something to think about there.